This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon. I am Lucy Adeyemi. The Tunisian Interior Ministry says flash flooding has killed at least two persons, including a six-year-old child, on Wednesday in the central region of the country. The drownings came in just under a month after torrential rains killed at least five people in the northwestern region of Cap Bon. The child died in the Sidi Bodzi region, while a 40-year-old man drowned in a flooded wadi in the neighboring province of Kasserin. Schools across central Tunisia were closed for the day, and the flooding has forced the closure of many roads, particularly in Kasserin. Zimbabwe is still forging ahead with its sham offensive to attract investment and seek more opportunities for economic development, but it appears there is still a long way to go to reach that goal. The Zimbabwe Embassy in South Africa held a meeting recently with the Gauteng Growth and Development Agency in Johannesburg to discuss current economic climate in Zimbabwe and trade relations with its southern African neighbors. But the volatile situation now in Zimbabwe, including threats of nationwide strikes and long queues for food and fuel, might have an, might have an advance effect on its quest for economic development. Now, Zimbabwe, which is on a slow economic turnaround, presents both risk and opportunity for investment. It may take a little longer for investment to get returns from their investment in Zimbabwe. The government is also taking some measures to attract more investment but it still needs more time to create a more enticing environment. Stay with us, we'll be back after this short message. Are you sure you want to do this? Adam, go and bring us your husband. Okay, hello baby. We're in this together, okay? Can you hear me? Keep coming forward. Wait, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> you okay, Lucy, you alright? <laughs> Keep walking down. Keep walking to the left. Yes. You're almost here. Keep going. You are here. <laughs> wow, you did it. I'm just so glad I didn't have to use my cane to do this. And I am so glad no other man got you before me. Let me be your eyes. We will never stop working to give you a network you can rely on so you can enjoy life's special moments. MTN, everywhere you go. UN officials say Morocco, Algeria, Mauritania and the Polisario Front have accepted a UN invitation to hold talks in December on ending the decades-old conflict in Western Sahara. The United Nations had repeatedly failed to broker a settlement over the North African territory where Morocco and the Algerian-backed Polisario fought for control from 1975 to 1991. Seeking to relaunch the political process, UN envoy Horst Hoschler has invited the four parties to Geneva in December for a first round of meetings that could pave the way to formal negotiations. Morocco and the Algerian-backed Polisario Front told the United Nations earlier this month they would attend. Algeria and Mauritania also recently said they would take part. The last round of UN-sponsored informal talks was held six years ago. That's ANN Newsbreak. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, ANNAfrica.net. Also join the conversation on our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.